All right, let's get our warm ups underway and spread our toes out. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, sitting bones down, core active, supporting your spine. Relax those shoulders back and down and your arms at your side. Spread your toes out, lengthen up through the crown, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, hands to your chest, elbows back. Inhale out to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart. Feel that upper body back bend. Spread your toes, exhale over, keep the weight on both feet evenly, and bring your hands toward your head. Move your chin around, make sure your neck is relaxing. And then bend your knees and start at the bottom of your spine, coming back up. And again, a little back bend. Stretch your head away, drop your shoulders, and breathe. And then inhale upwards and release. Take a moment, just feel your body. And again, inhale, arms reaching out, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you. So one position over with your fingers. Lift your heart into the back bend, stretch your head back, stretch the whole spine, and then pivot over as you exhale. Feel your whole back of your body working. And then bring your hands toward your head. Slightly bend your knees and wind your way all the way back. Feel that chest expand as you lift your heart into the back bend one more time. Then inhale upright and release. Take a moment and breathe, feeling that spine more activated. Side stretches next, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp them and bring your arms next to your ears. Shoulders down, sitting bones down, crown up. Stretch that spine apart and don't twist, just lean to the side. So both shoulders, both hips face forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, get those ribs opening a little more. And then inhale back up, switch the other hand to the front, arms by your ears, stretch it all apart, and lean to the other side. And again, as you get into your position, make sure you're not leaning forward, pushing the foot down, getting those ribs opening, and then come on back. Release into mountain pose. Just take a moment, feel how your body is responding. And it's our twist time, so get those spines stretching apart. Arms at shoulder level, the shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Spread your toes, stretch the spine apart, and turn for a twist. Keep the weight on both feet evenly as you pivot on over in the twist and relax. Spread your toes, twist your knees and tension. Lift your sitting bones, get those legs stretching a little bit. And then in the twist, come on back up and lift your heart. So remember, upper body only for your back bend when you're twisting. Keep long and breathe, elbows back, shoulders down. Inhale upright, exhale to the center, and again switching other arm to the front. Stretch the spine and turn to the opposite side. Spread your toes, get the weight even, and come on over, keeping the weight as even as you can, even though you lean to one side. Take a breath or two, just relax. And slowly work your way back. And again, as you get to the top, the chest goes up, the shoulders go down, the elbows go back. Nice upper body back bend. Feel that whole spine work. A gentle in your low back. And then inhale again, upright, exhale around to the center, arms up, and out to shoulder level. Pivot forward, chest leading. 
and stretch and then drop into ragdoll. Just pull in deeper with your hand behind your legs if you want. Get a good stretch on your back and then arms to the front and wind your way all the way down. As you get into your mountain pose, just take a moment and noticing how that circulation is a little more energized. And bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment there. Relax your shoulders. Stretch your neck. Inhale. Follow your hands up and a little bit behind you. Exhale. Bring the hands back to your heart. Pivot on over into our rag dog. And then hands up under your knees on your shins. And stretch and straighten everything. Exhale, release it, and again, winding up into mountain pose. Getting ready for our balance practice one. Spread your toes, lifting them. Get, make sure that the ball of the foot area is connected, not the toes themselves. Spread them out. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder aligned, so we know you want to roll in a little bit to make sure it's lined up with your shoulder. Activate that core, bring your shoulders back and down. Make sure that spine is stretching open and straight. And when you're ready, bring the other foot up a little or more or towards your chest. And when you get stable in your balance, work your ankle. Just circle it around one way and the other. Keep the toes on the ground, spread a nice grounded foot. And then flex the point. And bring your foot to the floor, getting ready to switch to that other side. So again, align it, spread the toes, get that fluid feeling up through the spine, core active, supporting that low back and shoulders relaxing when you're on the floor. And again, keep it low or not, your choice. Find your stability and circle your right foot. And again, keeping it flexible for our balance as well as everything else. And again, releasing back in the mountain pose. Step to the end of the neck. So take a moment there, getting into mountain pose, and bring your hands to your heart. Stretch through the spine, inhaling, looking up at your hands, and another little back bend. Pull that swan dive again, bring the arms out as you pivot over. Hands up on your shins under your knees, halfway up, stretch, everything straight. And then bend your knees, hands to the floor. Or remember, you can always raise the floor with rocks. And step into lunge, a big step back, push through the heel, feel this hip flexor get a good stretch. Make sure your front knee is above your ankle. Spread your toes and push back through the head and the heels. And then put your hands down and step the front foot back into down dog. So come up into your V shape, lift those hips, sink those heels, and stretch your head toward your head. So it's V shape, straight back, straight legs as you can. And then come up onto the toes and put the knees down. And slide the toes back. Bring your chest down between your hands and slide forward into a little coat run. So nice little back bend here. Remember, no pressure in your hands. And then hands again under your shoulders, pushing into your hands, coming back, tuck your toes under, lift your knees, and again come into your down leg. Feel your body in the V shape, lifting those sitting bones up and back, and reaching your head toward your hips. Remember, shoulder, shoulder blades stay toward your waist always. Head going one way, sitting bones the opposite. And then take your right foot. We're going to come up on the toes, shifting your shoulders over your wrist. Inhale. And step that right foot forward between your hands. If that doesn't work, just pull it up with your hand behind your ankle. 
And then push off the back foot, drop into ragdoll, and inhale all the way up into a little back bend. And then we're going to do the opposite direction. So I'm just going to go the other way so I can talk a little easier. And again, exhale, swan dive forward all the way into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees, pressing in just gently, halfway up, stretch. Everything straight, including the back of your neck. Bend your knees, hands to the floor, left foot way back into your lunge. Get that hip flexor stretching a little bit. Reach out through your head, back through your heel, keep the hip low, keep the front knee over your ankle, not sinking out or in. And then press your hands down and step back, down dog. Take a moment to breathe. And this time, shift forward into plank. Get your body as straight as you can, ankles, knees, hips, shoulder. And then bring the knees to the floor. Slide the toes back again, bring the chest down, and slide forward, another little cobra. Nice little upper body back bend, no pressure on your hands. Take a breath, stretch that top of your head up. Once again, tuck your toes under, press into your hands, come back, and lift your hips, coming into down dog one more time. Get that V shape, everything straight, legs and spine. Reach your head toward your hands and your sitting bones up and back. This time the left foot steps forward. So remember you're rising up, moving forward and giving a good step with that left foot. And again, right under your shoulder with that foot. And then pushing forward, relaxing in ragdoll. Hands together, inhaling, coming all the way up. And let's do another little back bend. And exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment there, a little bit of energy there for that little mini sun salutation. And spread your toes. Hands to your heart, relaxing, breathing. And inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, arms out again. Feel that stretch across the shoulders. Pivot all the way down. And another red doll. Inhale up halfway. And drop into red doll. Hands together to your heart and into mountain pose. Bring your hands <clears throat> onto your back, fingertips down toward your hips, and the heels of your palms up near your shoulder blades. So just supporting your low back, a nice little back bend. So bring the elbows toward each other, again, expanding across the chest. Hips over your ankles, and raise your head looking up. Get a good stretch along the front of those thighs, along those hip flexors that we were stretching in our lunge. Take a moment, elbows toward each other. Just breathe. And then chin toward your chest. Come on back up and release again, mountain pose. Hands to your heart. Inhale up. A little back bend because there's always a nice reason to do a back bend. Exhale over, pivot into your ragdoll. One more halfway up stretch, lengthening through the spine and everything. Bend your knees, come to the floor into child pose. Hands next to your feet, forehead down. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel that whole spine stretch as much as it wants. And then bring your hands out to the front toward the sides of the mat. And we're going to pivot up and slide the toes back. Drop your hips all the way to the floor. And resting crocodile, head to one side, shoulders down, hands, palms up near your hips. Feet stay hip width apart. 
Exhale any tension, just let that lower body relax completely. We're going to keep moving those, stretching those hip flexors a little bit more. So bring your forehead to the floor and then slide your chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down near your sides and stretch your feet back. Lengthen through your right leg and then keep both hips down on the floor and lift the right leg, keep it straight. Push out through the ball of the foot, base of the toes, all the way out and just raise that leg only as high as it wants to go. Chin sliding forward unless that's bad for your neck, in which case put your forehead on the floor. Take a moment, shoulders down, hips down, foot up. Keep stretching out through the toes the whole time. Take a breath or two, maybe bring it a little higher if that works for you. So this strengthens your low back and it stretches that hip flexor on the front of the leg that's lifted. So just let that happen, relaxing into it, and exhaling any tension. And then still stretching out through your toes, go ahead and lower the foot. Turn your forehead to the floor, let the neck get a little stretch. And of course, we're going to, yeah, do the other side with that same position. So forehead down, hands next to you, palms down, shoulders down as much as you can. Slide the chin forward if that works for your neck. Exhale any tension, let the hips sink. Stretch out through the legs. Just keep stretching that left leg, especially as you bring it up. Knee straight, everything straight through that left side. Rising only as far as your body wants to go, letting the back do the support. So you're not pressing into your hands, they're just keeping your shoulders down. Chin forward, unless that's not working for your neck, then forehead down. Push those hip bones down as you raise that left leg, maybe a little bit higher. Breathing into it, stretching it out, feeling that hip flexor, and maybe the glutes as well. Take a breath, stretching and lifting, breathing, and maybe relaxing. And then still stretching out through your foot. Exhale, bring that one down. And again, forehead to the mat. Stretch the back of your neck. Just relax. And then we're going to do both feet together. You can clasp your hands under you if you want. Or you can leave them next to you. And again, we're going to bring that chin slightly forward. Shoulders down. Arms pressing down gently and press your hips down into your hands. Toes slide back and stretch. And then as you stretch them out, lift both feet, knees straight. Again, the chin is forward, unless that doesn't work for your neck, then forehead on the floor. Hip bones down, shoulders down. And raise those feet only as high as your body wants to raise them. Keep stretching it out, keep breathing, lengthening through the whole body, out through the crown, out through the toes. Exhale, maybe lift a little higher. Feel that low back doing some work here. It's toning the abs too because those are opposing muscle groups. Take a breath, stretch it out, and exhale, lower those feet. Release your hands, bring them under your shoulders, forehead to the floor, and press back into child pose. Get a good stretch going on the back of your body. Just relax. Tension. Nice forward bend. Feel that stretch where we were contracting at the low back in the locust. Exhale, tension. And on an inhalation, sit up on your heels. <clears throat> Fold your mat back and get a cushion. And we're going to put the knees on that folded part for a little extra cushioning. We're going to go up into a camel. So remember, 
Camel is a back bend, and we're going to do the supported version only today. So come on all the way up onto your knees, <coughs> hips right above your knees. And like we did <coughs> when we were standing, bring your hands onto your lower back. So fingertips down towards your hips, feeling the palm at your shoulder blades and elbows moving in toward each other, feeling that chest expand. And the hip flexors along the front of your body start to lengthen a little bit also as you raise your heart. And then exhale, and bring your head a little further back. So again, keep the chest moving up, keep the hands on your back, and just lean a little bit toward your feet. So feel the front of your thighs along the hip flexors, get a little bit more stretch. Exhale, lift your heart a little bit more, maybe stretch your back. Keep the chin slightly towards your chest. Remember, don't lift it too high or you'll crunch your neck. Elbows toward each other. Just get a good supported version of this can. And then chin toward your chest. Exhale. And sink back again into child pose. Take a moment. Breathe. Exhale. Any stretch. And then releasing your mat to the full length. Take a moment and just stretch. And bring your hands out in front, pivoting up into table position. And we'll do a pigeon. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, knees and hips lined up, spine straight, activating that core, supporting your low back. And then the right knee comes between your thumbs and the left leg slides back, getting that hip flexor once more, stretching up. Bring your right knee way over to the side of the mat and then your heel slightly further up as far as perpendicular to your body with the shin, if that works for you or not, your choice. Hip bones, both sinking evenly down toward the floor. And chest forward, shoulder blades down, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, and just sinking through the hips. And if that's stressful on your knee, don't bend it so much. If that's stressful on the hip flex, just relax it down. And maybe slide your hands forward for a little release through that hip area. But keep the chest forward and the crown up toward the ceiling. But remember, don't punch the back of your neck. So either hands down or right under your shoulders, which will give you a little bit more through that hip area, stretching through that back leg. Take a moment, just letting those hips exhale down. If your forearms are still on the floor, bring the hands back under your shoulders. And then pressing into your hands, front knee comes back, back knee up into table. Just round your spine and drop it and come back into that neutral table position so that we can pigeon with the other side. So again, stretch your spine long and bring your left knee between your thumbs, sliding your right leg back for that hip flexor stretch to begin. Exhale, relax the hips down, shoulders facing forward, and then the left knee comes toward the left, and that heel can pull up as far as it wants, and then just drop those hips evenly toward the floor. So both shoulders face forward, chest coming forward, shoulder blades toward your waist, hips sinking down as evenly as possible toward the mat. And again, if that's stressing and straining too much, slide the hands forward, elbows down, forearms on the floor, or a little low tension. Exhale and just relaxing through the hips. Staying with your hands down or bringing them back under your shoulders, getting that crown, whichever version you're in, up toward the ceiling and that chest forward, shoulder blades down. Hips sinking. Just take a breath. 
relaxing, exhaling any tension. And then if your arms are still down, bring them back, lift the crown, sink the hips, coming into your pigeon pose. And then pressing into your hands, bring the front knee back and the back knee up. And go ahead and sink back into extended child pose, arms stretching out, those hips releasing completely. And then inhale, sitting up, and bring your legs to the end of the neck. And of course, activate your core, your in staff position, and slowly roll onto your back. As you get down, feel those hip flexors might be a little bit more worked out today. So we're going to slide the sitting bones towards your heels, bend your knees, heels in right next to your sitting bones and hips, knees straight up. Press the back down and bring the knees up towards your chest. So feel that hip flexor area getting a nice release as you bring those feet up. And then bring your arms up to the sides to T position for a little brief twist. Shoulders down, hands in your palms up or down your shoes. And we're just rolling those knees over to one side right at hip level. Push in if you need to for that low back twist and turn your head toward the opposite arm for that neck area twist. Shoulders stay down. Exhale any tension. Just deepen your twist. Only as far as you are wanting to go today. Exhale, relax. Those of you who like the low back, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow and extend your legs out if you want to. And again, only do what's right for your body in your choice today, as always. If you extend it, bring those heels back toward your hips and we'll roll on to our back. Take a moment and breathe as we get ready to go to the opposite side. So again, feet together, knees together, roll them over right at hip level to the other side, turning your head the opposite direction. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. Shoulders go down, and head turning as much as you'd like for that neck area twist. Exhale, pad the knees if you need to, to keep them off the floor. If you need a gentle low back stretch, or bring the knees toward your elbow, or extend the legs straight out if you want more. And again, just breathe and relax into your twist on this side, however much you're needing today. Exhale and just relax and shoulders down, head turning. And with your laser out, bring the heels back in, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, give yourself a little bit of hug. And then bring your arms and legs out, extend fully onto the mat, and release your arms next to your hips into corpse position for our final relaxation. So take a deep breath, drop in your belly, let those hips relax all the way down. And your hands, palms up, let those shoulders release. Take a deep breath, bring your head around, relax your shoulders down. Bring those hips, let them release any tightness. That's, you know, let the toes come toward each other and then just release. Hands, palms up, away from your sides. Take a breath and just let your body grow heavy, sinking into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths in, just exhale, let go and deepen into that earthbound connection. As your body relaxes more with each exhalation, just let those hips go. Let the shoulders release, let the whole body relax deeper into that earth support. And let awareness of your body release from your attention. As you breathe more deeply, 
My elbow starts floating away with your breath. Please, bear any awareness. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts go as easily as you can. Floating away without attention. Allow your mind to release along with your body for relaxing completely. Allowing your body to sink and your mind to float. Just breathing. Releasing and relaxing. And as you relax fully and completely, letting go of any thoughts, allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Allow that awareness to focus inward on the peace within. Let the peace fill your body and your mind. Taking a few moments for relaxing into the peace. And as always, if that's the one with a good relaxation today, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just get enjoying energy and awareness with the breath. Back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin moving, stretching, and as you're ready to do so, breathing more fully, stretching more completely. Allowing your body to relax and to release those hips even more. And exhale, bringing your sitting bones toward your heels, or your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Feel that release through your hip flexors, and then wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its hip flexor work today and the work your body does for you every day. That's the only any tension in letting those hips and moves relax. And when you're ready to release that for the appreciation, spring your head and feet to the floor, and rolling over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead of your day today. Thanks for joining me.